Bye-bye, Cecile. Breaking news, it was just announced Cecile Richards, the CEO of Planned Parenthood, is stepping down. This news comes on the heels of another successful March for Life attended by hundreds of thousands of pro-life activists. While we don't know exactly why she is stepping down, this seems like a pretty good indicator that Planned Parenthood is in big trouble. Here are some of the reasons why we think she's quitting. First, under her leadership, Planned Parenthood and some of its affiliates became the focus of ongoing investigations at the state and federal level because of their potential involvement in the trafficking of fetal body parts. Second, Planned Parenthood has recently been losing hundreds of millions of taxpayer dollars as multiple states cut off their funds. Next, a pro-life president, senate, house, and the potential of a pro-life Supreme Court all threaten Planned Parenthood's funding and decades of pro-abortion law. Not only that, but state legislators across the country are passing thousands of pro-life laws, many of which put Planned Parenthood in a difficult position because that interferes with their abortion business. And last but certainly not least, her favorite candidate, Hillary Clinton, losing to Donald Trump. Whatever the reason may be, I can't say we're sad to see her go. Cecile Richards' legacy is one of death and destruction for hundreds of thousands of preborn children and their families. She is responsible for helping create the false narrative that abortion helps women, and she helped build a multi-billion dollar abortion business. But now the pro-life generation is winning and we have the momentum. So bye-bye, Cecile. This is our time.